Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So we got Masters of the Universe Origins. We got an awesome uh, special four pack in. We got the Diabolical Snake Invasion. So welcome into my channel. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe for more great toy videos, 80s, 90s, nostalgic videos, and things of that nature. Yeah, we got this awesome uh, Diabolical Snake Men pack, four pack. It's pretty awesome. I thought they were going windowless artwork, but they just made it to where you have a nice display box instead. So really cool. So uh, can't wait to get this out. Let's check out this toy. All right, here we go. Masters of the Universe Origins. We got the special four pack Diabolical Snake Invasion. So really awesome. We got some awesome artwork there. Um, five different snake men. I don't know, even more in the background. That's Fangor in the background. Here's one of the snake men. Uh, yeah, because this is kind of a troop builder. Battling with uh, Snake Armor He-Man. So we get a different repaint of Snake Armor He-Man in this one. We got Eternia in the background. Pretty cool. So the same artwork is up on the flap. But then we got a nice display of the snake men and Snake Armor He-Man if you want to keep them in the box. Very nice packaging, very nice to display. So we got four figures, Snake Armor He-Man, Rattle Hood, Gorgon, and Naga. So Rattle Hood is the Snake Man squad leader, Gorgon, Loyal Spy for King Hiss, and Naga, Evil Poison Master. Really cool set, really colorful. And we got a nice mix and match of the different Snake Man parts and everything. And a pretty interesting repaint of He-Man as well. And then on the back, the back art there, we got the battle continues there. Looks really cool. Now then we got Snake Mountain down here. And we got that one now, so that's nice. And that looks like Snake Mountain has been taken over by the Snake Man or something. He-Man summons all of his power to stop the army of diabolical snakes from sinking their poisonous fangs into Eternia. Sweet. Yeah, really cool set. This is another one that we saw at Comic-Con of 22 where these were around uh, Eternia. And uh, we didn't know what they were then. So we got we saw the Skeleton Warriors in the same fashion. So all these cool extra figures are coming to realization. So it's pretty neat. So there we go. Let's get the Diabolical Snake Invasion out and see what it's all about. All right, here we go. We got the Di Diabolical Invasion set out of the package and these figures look great these are some awesome mix and match repaints uh, i'll take as much kind of stuff as we can get of this uh you know truthfully i'm i don't know if we needed like a repaint of snake armor he-man to be honest with you it would have been cool just to get four different snake warriors um just because snake armor he-man already exists this is just a slight repaint but it's fine um one thing that i don't really believe is fine in my opinion is that the two regular snake warriors that aren't the main guy don't have any uh, weapons not a, not even one um, I don't see why they couldn't have thrown in just any some generic weapon for each of them that's kind of a I think that's a, a little bit of a BS if you ask me uh, the set was what like 60 65 bucks or something like that i know you get four figures but uh come on throw in some generic weapon for them to have well the good thing is that if you want um uh, the skeleton warriors came with extra weapons so you could use some of those for those guys if you wanted to so we'll check out snake armor he-man first so there we see we got a uh you know a little bit more paint detail uh different colors with the blacks now and everything on the the armor pieces and like a different kind of like neon greens on it and everything so that's cool uh, looks good uh, and he's still we got his accessory his snake clamp there so that goes on nice and there's the power sword again he's got a spot for it so nice snake armor he man I just think he wasn't quite necessary but, uh, you know, the set's still really good. And maybe some people didn't get Snake Armor He-Man. So, 
this is a chance to get him. And so with that said, here's the uh, original Snake Armor He-Man for Origins release. So you can see the difference. The black colors instead of uh, all silver. And uh, the neon green for the the clamp piece and a few other pieces. Uh, what was otherwise gold on the emblem. Whoop, this guy's going to fall over. So there it is. Two versions of Snake Armor He-Man now. We've got a lot of He-Mans and a lot of Skeletors. Alright, uh, we'll look at the generic guys first um so pretty neat what they've done here uh looks like they've used a mix and match from a lot looks like they've used a mix and match from a lot of different figures um i think the body generally speaking is all uh, uh cobra con for the most part um i, I believe that's the cobra con arms and, and and feet and everything and then of course the body is definitely cobra cons and then they put a rattler head on the on the top so those parts with the cool color mix uh, makes for some really cool, uh, just kind of like basic snake warriors. And then so we got another one that's the same way, uh, but different color schemes and so really cool colors. All right, then we got the main guy who. Uh, they decided to go with the rat or body yeah all rat lore body parts uh, including the rattle so there he is even with the tail really cool but they gave him the co the camo con head very cool uh, that's a really nice combination makes for a really wicked snake figure right there and so he did at least come with a weapon so we have another uh, snake staff I don't know if we've got that exact color yet or not. Who am I thinking of? Oh, Tongue Lasher, right? Uh, no, it's a little bit different. This is more like a, I guess more bluish, huh? So this could be, I think maybe we didn't have this color before. So another color snake staff, pretty neat. And finally, he came with the, all the cool accessories here. So we got a Spit Blast, Acid Blast, Venom Blast. So that's pretty nice. And we've got the neck extension piece. We'll see what that looks like. I have to say that's pretty wicked looking with the uh, the big hooded head and then that extended neck. <laughs> wow. All right, overall, really awesome set really awesome packaging cool repaints cool mixes and matches maybe if you if some people didn't get a hold of snake armor he-man this is a chance to get him uh, so overall i think it's pretty good just my only again my only critiques is yeah you know it is just another snake armor he-man which we already received a regular release and the basic warriors didn't come with any weapons whatsoever and i think that that's pretty cheap they should have done that but uh, otherwise I'm happy all right let's put the uh, snake warriors up here on in uh, snake mountain territory got my skeleton warriors up there too starting to fill out this snake mountain area so I got my shelf better rearranged up here with some figures And uh, down at the bottom shelf is where all my origins are mainly.
All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the Diabolical Snake Invasion 4-pack. Pretty cool Masters of the Universe Origins set. So, hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.